your speech. It was a good, timely speech. We've heard a lot about executive orders in the last few weeks, so it was very timely. You explained the purpose or the topic of your speech initially and explained to us that it was on executive orders. But you also told us some things about what it's not, that anything that a president can issue could be an executive order. But an executive order is really a subset of all of those things that he does. So I thought that was important. It led to a, your narrowing the topic enough that you could get through it in six to eight minutes in an understandable manner. It also gave you time, because it was narrow enough, it allowed you sufficient time to explain or at least remind us some of the basics of how our government works, and the uniqueness of its tension between the executive branch, legislative branch, and the judicial branch. And I thought that was important because later on you explained to us how executive orders are limited and can be limited by other branches of the government. One question they ask is, how effectively did the speaker draw an expert opinion while discussing the subject? I'm not sure I heard you talk about any expert opinions, but you sounded like an expert. <laughs> <laughs> you covered in that way. <clears throat> how did the speaker make the talk interesting? I thought that your use discussion of several important historical examples really kept my interest. We talked about Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation and relayed some facts that if I knew them at any time I've long since forgotten them. So it was interesting to find out that that only proclamation only applied to the southern states that had seceded from the Union. I'm thinking, well how fair was that? <coughs> You mentioned the internment of the Japanese, which was before my time, but was really pretty traumatic to those that were involved and might be used as an example of overreach by a president. The nationalization of the steel industry, which surely was an overreach of presidential authority because the Supreme Court found that it was not valid. And finally, you put President Obama's recent order on immigration in a historical context, which I found fairly useful and interesting. You had, I thought, good vocal variety and gestures, and you sounded authoritative, clearly done your research. As for anything else that you might have done to make it more interesting, maybe a little humor is all I could suggest. I don't know what that would be, that's a tough <laughs> subject, but I've heard President Obama referred to as Emperor Obama. Before him, it was King George. Perhaps there was something developed there. All in all, a very good speech, very informative. Thank you.